So question number one is, what do you love to do? Hmm. Most people start there and that's an easy question to answer. Right. But then they sometimes get love and like confused. Mm -hmm. And so I asked I the love question. I love to go to the club. You know, like, like, you know, right? <laughs> well, you said it earlier. Right. You love this so much, you're putting money into it. Mm -hmm. What I ask people, and when I say this, I'm referring to the podcast. Kevin loves the concept of not just podcasting, but adding value to other people's li life through his own, his own voice. Mm -hmm that he's paying for the podcast without having sponsors as of yet. But he will take sponsors at any time. Go ahead. They are coming. <laughs> so what I ask people is, if you, well, I love what I do now. Okay, go in tomorrow and tell them they don't have to pay you anymore, but you still do it. No, they go. <laughs> no. Well, if money wasn't an issue, would you still do the same job you're doing now? Right. And so if we can't say that, yes, man, I would still do this if I was... If I won, I hate using this this example, but if I won the lottery, mm -hmm. would you still do the same job you're doing now? No, nah, I'm gone. Right. Well, you really don't love it. You might like it a lot, right. but you don't love it. Right. And then that goes in right into the second question. What would you do for free? Now, you and I have done this for free yes. for many, many times, many years. I remember when you first told me you were reading a book, uh, Speak and Grow Rich. Speak and Grow Rich, yeah. And you said that they said in the book, too, this is when I wasn't committed to reading books. And Kevin told me that they said speak for 50, 50 times. Mm -hmm. Before you get paid. Yeah. And, and you know I don't I don't believe in ignoring my friend but uh, I was like uh, but I didn't understand the process right. I had to become a different person through those first quote unquote 50 or 25 or 30 engagements mm -hmm. to develop my skill set and content etc cetera, etc cetera. and but we've done this for free what a lot of people don't understand is your passion your purpose and your gifting they're all tied together mm -hmm. God gives you gifts that undergird the very thing that you that, that excites you. Mm -hmm. So God has given you certain gifts, talents, and abilities that enable you to support this passion. What comes easy to you but difficult to others? Mm, I like that one. Like A lot that. of people say <laughs> that what, what's the, I think you said it on one of your podcasts that speaking is like akin to death. Yes. To that's death. how you put it. I still get nervous before I get up and mm -hmm. speak. We we feel something. I know with me, I feel it in my stomach. Mm -hmm. Almost like like riding Grease Lightning mm -hmm. in 1983. You right. know, we back at Astro World. World. Sorry for those young <laughs> folks out there. That's Astro World. That and so, part, so before you hit that loop or before you hit that right. dip, yeah. with the loop or the dip, you mm -hmm. felt something. Right. And so I feel that right. something, but I've conditioned through my process, everybody's process is different. Face the fear, do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Jump into it jump into it and so you know we we have to we have to commit ourselves at the beginning to go through the process how do others view your talents and gifts when you are able to ask someone who's known you for years mm -hmm. and they give you value added insight that you could not see because you're too close to the picture mm -hmm. you told you shared some information with me what we haven't talked about is my 20-year career in network marketing so Kevin has supported and encouraged me doing when I was building network marketing for 20 years but then he had the wisdom to tell me Taft I think that was holding you back from your true calling mm -hmm. now because I love the brother I don't take offense to what he, he's saying I'm going to listen because there are people who are around you who can see something that you may not be able to see because you're just too close to the picture. Mm -hmm. This fifth question is for all the believers. If you're not a believer, don't be offended. If you want to know how to become a believer, just ask one of us. We'll, we'll happily tell you. Absolutely. But the fifth question is, ask God. Because God created you, and the purpose he created you for is the thing that you are passionate about. And, the, and then he's undergirded that passion with gifts. He's going to know the answer to the question. Absolutely. Absolutely.